Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. The team behind NASA's James Webb Space Telescope released some of the first images of the much anticipated observatory on Friday, February the 11th. The main photo, which doesn't even hint at the power Webb will bring to the universe once it's fully operational, shows a star called HD 84406 and is only a portion of the mosaic taken over 25 hours beginning on February the 2nd. During the ongoing process to align the observatory's segmented mirror, the entire web team is ecstatic at how well the first steps of taking images and aligning the telescope are proceeding. Marcia Reek, principal investigator of the instrument that Webb relies on for alignment procedures and astronomer at the University of Arizona, said in a NASA statement, the telescope spent the first month unfolding from its launch configuration and tracking out nearly 1 million miles, 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. During the bulk of the remaining time, scientists are now focusing on walking and calibrating the observatory's instruments and making the minute adjustments to the telescope's 18 golden mirror segments that are necessary for crisp, clear images of the universe. The process is going well, according to NASA. This initial search covered an area about the size of the full moon because the segmented dots could potentially have been that spread out in the sky. Marshall Perrin, the deputy telescope scientist for Webb and an astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute, said in the statement, Taking so much data right now on the first day required all of Webb's science operations and data processing systems here on Earth working smoothly with the observatory in space right from the start. And we found light from all 18 segments very near the center early in that search. This is a great starting point for the mirror alignment. Still, the telescope has a long way to go as the image of HD 84406 shows. The first images are going to be ugly. Jane Rigby, Web Operations Project Scientist said during a news conference held on January the 8th, as the telescope began the process of unstowing its mirrors. It's going to be blurry, we'll have 18 of these little images all over the sky. And the photograph does indeed show multiple views of HD 84406, the star that the James Webb Telescope's scientists recently announced they had chosen to look at first. Starlight, star bright, the first star Webb will see is HD 84406, a sun-like star about 260 light years away, NASA officials wrote on Twitter on January the 28th. HD 84406 is the constellation Ursa Major, or Big Bear, but is not visible from Earth without a telescope. But it was a perfect early target for Webb, because its brightness is steady and the observatory can always spot it, so launch or development delays won't affect the plan. Oddly, the James Webb Space Telescope won't be able to observe HD 84406 later in its tenure. Once the telescope is focused, the star will be too bright to look at. Previously, James Webb Space Telescope personnel have said that the telescope will be seeing fairly sharply by late April. Even as the JWST works to hone its vision, a second key process is taking place in the background as the observatory sends the remaining heat from its time on Earth out into space. Because Webb is tuned to study the universe in infrared light, which also registers as heat, the observatory must be incredibly cold to obtain accurate data. 
NASA scientists expect that the golden primary mirror will reach temperatures as low as minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus 223 degrees Celsius. Instruments must be even colder, according to an agency statement. In addition to the image of HD 84406, NASA also shared a selfie image that the observatory also took using a special lens targeting the observatory's primary mirror to assist during the alignment process. All told, scientists are thrilled about the observatory's progress. Launching Webb to space was, of course, an exciting event, but for scientists and optical engineers, this is a pinnacle moment. When light from a star is successfully making its way through the system down onto a detector, Michael McElwin, Webb Observatory Project Scientist, NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said in a statement, in other news, SpaceX promises sustainability and safety for the Starlink constellation. Amid concern from NASA, SpaceX says it has significant resources to exceed best practices with Starlink when it comes to sustainability and safety. In an update published to the company website on February the 22nd, SpaceX outlined its sustainability and safety protocol for its Starlink internet satellites on Monday, February the 28th, as the company seeks to add tens of thousands more of the probes to its fast-growing mega constellation. This update by SpaceX comes amidst recent concerns raised by NASA about the impact more Starlink satellites could have. NASA's concern follows earlier criticisms of Starlink internet satellites for accelerating the rate of near collisions in space, including to the International Space Station, and for interfering with astronomy observations due to their brightness. SpaceX addressed the first concern, the collisions and debris, in detail with its new outline. In this new statement, SpaceX promises a commitment for a safe orbital environment, protecting human spaceflight and ensuring the environment is kept sustainable for future missions to Earth orbit and beyond. The lengthy update includes SpaceX's plan of approach for current and future Starlink launches, including high maneuverability, open data sharing with other space companies, agencies and authorities, and an in-space collision avoidance system to be used as a last resort. SpaceX is leaning on advanced technologies such as inter-satellite optical or laser communications to make the best practices possible, the company said in an update. SpaceX additionally urged other operators to join us in practices such as sharing orbital data and updating key 